Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here near the town of Dosor in Kazakhstan and it does not look very nice outside. We were sleeping actually a little bit in because it was raining and stormy and windy and just so horrible. I didn't want to get up. And this is the middle of the desert as well. Pretty crazy, but the weather has changed a little bit. The rain has stopped and we're ready to hit the road. Yeah, let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we have come a long way in Kazakhstan now and we are here. And our mission is to reach the city of Aktau, hopefully by tomorrow. So we are going to be heading down this road and get as far as we can in this direction. We have two more rides to finish our journey here in Kazakhstan and reach the city of Aktau to cross the Caspian Sea to Azerbaijan. We haven't figured it out to 100% how it works just yet. We know that we have to put Bumblebee on the boat and we probably have to fly to Azerbaijan because all land borders are still closed to get into Azerbaijan. But this is something we really have to figure out when we reach Aktau. It's about 500 miles to Aktau and it will take us about nine hours we don't know exactly how far we're gonna get today but it's already nine o'clock and we have a long way to go so better hit the road let's go you better work better today mr. camera I'm talking to you all right I'm gonna ride the bike around here and I'll pick you up over there like that okay I remember make sure I don't pick up the wrong person bye bye Oh yeah, Bubble B, fire it up! Is that lovey? Salam? Oh, it's Lavi. Oh, good. So Lavi used to be able to get on whilst I was on the bike, but um, with our new Moscow Moto panniers, they're just a little bit too far forward, and there just isn't enough space between my big fat legs. Okay, we're up. Ready to go? Totally. Okay. It's still a bit uh, windy around, but it's definitely better than it was this morning. It was so raining this morning, oh my god. Yeah, you know when you wake up and you can just hear on the window like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you're inside a car wash. You're like, mm, I don't think we have to get out of bed yet. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, we did a monster day yesterday. So I think we can give ourselves a little break because yesterday we hit a new record for the most amount of miles ridden in one day. It was something like 465 miles. That's nearly half an iron butt. <laughs> exactly. There was no accommodation opportunities um, in with like 300 miles. We had just to go, 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 you know. We're in the vastness of the Kazakh steppe, which is basically half grassland and half basically desert nothingness oh look at this this is cool oh yeah, that's pretty really nice and there's a statue just here oh amazing it wasn't this way no uh see if we can do a ue ready Hoppla. <laughs> no 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 oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> yes just about <laughs> it's so funny because a u-turn on a road is literally something that you have during a motorcycle test like normally you have to be able to do it and i still can't really do it <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we go here right into the town of dosser to fill up fuel first before we hit the road here we go the town of dosser established in 1911 as i just read on the sign by the way i love this trucks here <laughs> the Russian trucks, they are so charming, oh my god. I, I don't even know the name of the brand, but we've seen like a million of them now and yeah. I definitely, definitely think that doing a, a road trip in one of those would be absolutely awesome. 
Yeah. So I was told by one of the locals that we met yesterday, a lot of these towns around here are pretty much here because of oil drilling, pretty much from here all the way to the Caspian Sea and in the Caspian Sea. A lot of the people working here are going to be working with the oil industry. Yeah, we actually saw yesterday a drilling machine there. Yep, right next to the side of the road. Super crazy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Can I get round? Just about. Ah, the petrol station, I can see it. Yeah, that's the one. Kazakh oil. And of course, because Kazakhstan is such an oil rich nation, the fuel here is the cheapest fuel of any country that we've ridden through so far on this trip. It is something like 30 pence a litre. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? 193 Kazakh Tenge. Tenge. So anyway, we'll get Bumblebee fueled up and then we'll hit the road properly out into the Kazakh steppe. Yo! Oh no, you know what? We just checked the 360 here on the back and for some reason it didn't turn on. So yeah, I will burn these cameras after the trip, I can tell you that. <laughs> Another beautiful Kazakhstani cemetery here, look at that. So here we go, heading out of Dosser and into the middle of nowhere. Thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine point nine. We just hit forty thousand miles on the road. Wow, that is a crazy milestone, hey? Unbelievable. 40,000 miles. 40,000 wow. miles. And the circumference of the Earth, by the way, guys, is 23,500 miles. So that was the minimum distance that we had to travel in order to make a circumnavigation record. And honestly, by the time we get back, we are going to double it. I guess so. We are going to literally have done two loops around the Earth. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much to see, hey? So much to see, so many places to visit. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Can't believe that when we landed in, in Brazil, in South America, we'd only done 7,000 miles. <laughs> and it already felt like we'd been traveling for ages. Yeah. It felt like we'd been on the road forever. I was, I was already exhausted. But now it's like 40,000 miles. Yeah. Day 506. And still dropping the bike, hey? Oh no, 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 no! Damn it! <laughs> and still dropping the bike regularly. <laughs> We're probably nearly 90% of our way around the world, which is absolutely crazy. But yeah, it's really starting to feel like the home stretch, hey? I just want to make it to Azerbaijan, to be honest. One more hurdle over the Caspian Sea, yeah. and it'll be home straight to Europe. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see behind us, but it looks like really bad weather ahead and we're already getting some raindrops on us so i think we're going to take off the media mod to protect it put on our rain gear try to be brave <laughs> it's actually just a plastic bag look at that yeah. state of the art hey eh? You look great. <laughs> it's just crazy, the wind and the rain. 
What a hectic ride. So we're just having our break inside a bus shelter. And we're having really nice deep fried bread with some potatoes inside. I just bought them at the petrol station. They're really, really tasty. What's inside? Potatoes? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, terrible conditions. My neck is already hurting. Mm -hmm. And the wind is just hitting us from one side like bam. Okay, let's say hello to this one. To this guy, yeah? yeah. Okay. We've seen these guys so many times riding past hello. that I just want to be their friend. Hello. Do you think we should give them some? Yeah, yeah, that's a nice one. Mmm, I would eat that. Hello. Look how big he is. He's massive. Yes? Yes, yes. Hello. What's that? Mmm. Yummy. Hello. That's a yummy piece of leaf. No, he's coming over. Oh, maybe he wants some juicy leaves. Whoa, look at their feet as well. Wow. Big flat feet. No, don't stand there, come, you idiot. Come. come on. Come from the road. What is he doing? He wants something to eat. Do you like this one? Hey? <laughs> 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 I don't know if he wants it. Do you want this one? I'm not sure what he wants. <laughs> wow, look how big his eyes are. Yeah, wow, beautiful animal. Oh, he's trying to eat it. Give him some grass. He's trying to eat you. <laughs> he wants to eat my hands. Come on, eat the grass. It's a nice piece of grass. It's a nice bit. Oh, I don't think that he likes this one. We should have gotten like carrots or something. Yeah, they probably would prefer some carrots or something nice. Look, he's eating the <gasps> same thing that we just offered him. Mm. This is a really nice one. I love him. Look at them, they're so yes, lovely. They're so lovely. They seem quite friendly as well. Yeah. Oh, they're nice camel. Oh, they're nice camel. Oh, they're nice camel. Oh, they're nice camel. Oh, he's a nice camel. Oh, he's a nice camel. Wow, he's so lovely. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, he's so big as well. I can't believe how big they are. I can feel him swallowing. I can feel his throat when he swallows the grass. It's like glunk. See, I told you we could make friends with them. the medium mod because the rain has eased off a little bit although it's still like crazy windy but we've also had a look on the map and there is a hotel coming up in 50 miles we're thinking about maybe stopping early there simply because it's crazy windy it's been raining a lot yeah it was a pretty hectic day as well we had a massive sandstorm it's so uncomfortable i feel like the stopping would be a good idea <laughs> yeah we'll get there and then we'll decide what to do No, dead. Okay. We have reached the town of Bainu. So we're going to go and check out the hotel here. Yeah, we will check out if they have internet that we can sort of make a plan and see what we want to do. Because at the moment we don't have uh, internet sort of just from one Wi-Fi place to the next. I just saw a sign as well, Uzbekistan, 80 kilometers that way. Oh. So we are very close again to the Uzbekistan border. For those of you guys that have been following the series, you'll know that we got very close to the Uzbekistan border. We even got a stamp in and then immediately a stamp out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of 
coming up on the left side. I think it's this one here. This building. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, let's go have a tea and have a little rest. A few moments later. Okay, so this hotel here. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Look at all these girls here. <laughs> this hotel here uh, doesn't have a restaurant, doesn't serve tea. So we decided that was a sign that we're not going to spend the night here. So anyway, we're going to go to another cafe in town on the main street. Have a little rest there. But it looks likely that we will continue on for today. It's basically either ride an extra two hours today or ride an extra two hours tomorrow. Yeah. And then it's, I think it's one of those. Okay, let's see if it's open. Let's stop here, have a little break. So this cafe is closed, no tea, nothing. We're just having a biscuit next to the cafe on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> we've given up in this town. So we're just gonna have a little break and then we're gonna hit the road for the last leg. finally made it. This one? Yeah. Okay, it kind of looks abandoned. It does, no? But, yeah, in here, it's often like this that the buildings look quite abandoned from the outside, but if you go inside, then it's actually quite nice inside. So, okay. <laughs> let's check it out. Yeah, I mean, it does say hotel, and here is a cafe, so... Okay, yeah, let's see. I guess that's the right And the place. door's open. And the door is open. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a bottle of vodka on the ground outside. Ooh. So we know we can get vodka then, that's good. Any luck? Yes, I think so. I mean, three girls on the table, they were eating, and I was asking, like, oh, oh, uh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, room, yes. And I'm like, food, yes, yes. Okay, do uh, they work here or are they just guests? I think they work here. After that, she was just going like back to the table and continued eating. So I think we just let them eat. All right, lovely. Anyway, they've got a room. Yes. Good. So these guys just came to say hello and they've got LTM 200s. Very nice. Your name? Aslik. Aslik. Okay, cool. And what's your name? Aidos. Aidos. And your name? My name is Mirjan. Mirjan. Yes. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye! Whee! Nice! So this is our room. Um, it's not the nicest room, but it was only three pounds, so... Good evening guys, we made it! Happy and alive! That was a crazy ride, a very long ride, a very exhausting ride, but I'm really really glad that we survived it actually. If you're going really fast and people overtake you and here in Kazakhstan they come always really close to you, it's insane. Rain, sandstorms, trucks. Yeah, it was a pretty exhausting ride. We did like, I think, 350 miles. So we are very close to Aktau now, which is absolutely amazing. Check out this room. I think literally somebody was sleeping inside here because when the girl showed us the room, the bed was totally like messed up and then she's just like putting it sort of straight and said like, okay, here guys, <laughs> this is your room. <laughs> we have our sleeping bags ready and our pillows. So we would just set up our sleeping bag and pillows and 
yeah, I think we will have a good night. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.